Ah, hello everyone, no respawns, hope you're doing well. So, happy Monday, or actually, pre-Monday, and all that shit. So this is Maui Cafe in the castle. Now, this is the last building of the lower tier, if you don't in include the various nondescript shacks, which I do have a couple more to build. However, this one's really quick, you may notice the length of the video is quite short. Um, what I've ended up doing is I end up going with this Diamond City Shack, and it, there isn't much to do, but it looks awesome. You can see from the thumbnail, it looks really grand, so I'm quite chuffed with this. I was a bit, because you look at this, right, now you can look a bit closer, you see you've got that kind of foundation bit at the bottom. So I love the look of this building, but I wasn't too sure what to do with that. Now firstly, it is actually incredibly easy to hide, as you can see. I can just actually put it underneath the wee walkways, and it works quite well. It does take me a bit of time to get it in exactly how I want. Also, because I'm running out of a little bit of space in this one, in terms of areas where I can do the pillar glitch, I'm trying to kind of like think, okay, where do I do, where do I do, what do I do? Now, what I'm going to show a lot in this video is, remember in the last videos where we've got, you see those walkways going through, we've used plywood. And this is, by the way, this is me now, going to be pillar glitching that and picking up everything <laughs> each time. Basically, I've figured out the AI, AI pathing issue. Now, it is a little bit to do with the overuse of the ply board. Um, this is ridiculous. <laughs> I, for the, whatever reason, it just wants to grab everything. Anyway, so overuse of the ply board. But the big part is the, you know, the sort of concrete cinder block steps that we use? The computer doesn't, the AI doesn't like using them. Now, I don't mind for my builds, because in terms of, I mostly use them outside houses, and that kind of thing. But for the main walkways around the castle, I was having an issue, where you remember the last videos, where all of my Minutemen were just hanging in the central pit and never leaving. So, a lot of this video is going to be me doing the walkways, which is why I left it in. Because the actual house building isn't very long at all, but most of the walkways are, so I'll show you the kind of technique I use. But also, just as a note, and I'll show it when I do, when I, when I, ne my next tour, I'll kind of do a quick do-over, because I'm going to do the, the central courtyard at some point soon. That might be the next video, in fact, because I've got to do the radio shack. But basically, when you're having areas with lots of foot traffic, shall we say, don't use any of the modded stuff. Like, in terms of modded stairs, you know, plyboard, things like that. You can obviously put it over, but you're going to see in a little bit when I do my little walkways in the fact is that I just use the barn pieces and I put plyboard over there to add some texture. I don't even finish them, actually. I've still got details I need to do, but um, I leave them a little bit spare, bare because I might have to do some tweaking. I just wanted to show you the technique. But yeah, no, this was racking my brain. <laughs> so basically, yeah, you'll see if you, when I do the tour, you'll see me walk by the front bit, and you'll see that I've actually just got the normal stairs. You can see them a little. That's moving a bit too fast, isn't it? But you'll see them, and the second I put the wooden stairs in, so the, the standard staircase, all of the Minutemen stuck in the in, inside pit just immediately went, oh, we can get out now, and was able to walk through. The reason being is because obviously that's where my traders are going to be, that's where the Minutemen spawn, and that's where most of your Minutemen can do their reset position, is where the radio station is. So you do want kind of good pathing. But for like houses and things, I, I don't really give a shit. You know, I often I'll have funky stairs. So as you can see, now I've mentioned this before, but those of you who don't know, this these barn floor pieces, specifically these ones and the grated ones, have awesome snapping. So they you can sink and snap them into more or less anything. They're great. So whenever you need to do something weird and wonderful like this, which you'll see in a sec, use these and it's great to fun. I do have a little bit of a little bit of trouble getting it straight. I get it straight enough. It's fine. You'll see them. I'm able to snap them into each other. Now, I've got loads of work to do on these. I'm just... In this one, I show you kind of just the, the technique, and I put a little detail on the outside. The reason I'm not doing them completely is because I do have the back floor. I might have to tweak these walkways a little bit when I get the buildings in. But as you can see, watch this, watch this. It's just so good. Now, I recommend if you're having... What you can do, right, you just grab these little ones. And you can effectively just sink them in. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Sink them in, just kind of... You can just kind of shove them into things. And in a minute. And they're just so great. And then add the ply boards over the top. You can just cover up any mistakes. I'm not even finished with them right now. And it looks pretty decent. And also the great thing is, because these are actual floors, your Minutemen will walk over them, which is great. That was the problem that's happened before. So I'll pop this on here, like this. See, they just snap in like that. Voila! Watch this, watch this! Look, look, look! Oh my god! It's just, it's really handy to know. 
I stop it there because I'm not going too far anyway. You can, oh, I don't. Lies. But see, you can just kind of quite unceremoniously just kind of shove them in. And it's really not a problem at all. They're just just very useful. If you ever do kind of like weird and wonderful walkways like this, just use these, put on some plyboard. I'm going to be going through the custom villain or assets mod and finding a lot of the debris parts and kind of things to cover up areas um, so I can actually make shit look pretty cool. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. But yeah, I highly recommend these. They just kind of, they work. As you can see, I'm just going to, again, I don't finish it. But I'm just going to show you as I'm going, because I wanted to kind of give you an idea of, okay, you can cover up the errors. Like, to be honest, once I finish with these, once I get a, a pattern, shall we say, I like, and bits and pieces from the custom villa assets part I like, you will, probably won't be to see much of this floorboard. Another reason why I like it is because it's, though it repeats the board, it doesn't have that same... It's not as in your face as the kind of vanilla wooden pieces. Remember the vanilla wooden kind of single boards? They're a little bit... You can see the wood pattern on them a bit much. And plus, they don't have double boards as well. This is the stuff I think about, people. <laughs> see, look at these. Love it. Looks a bit messy, but don't worry. Okay. Also, you're going to love this cafe. It looks really good. I use a lot of the signs from the Custom Villa Assets mod. Loads of them, actually. And it works really well. It's not technically a... Like, I don't have a vendor in it yet. Normally, as you see with the other ones, I don't actually have a vendor in it, but I have a kind of a vendor location, and I just put a mannequin in there. With this one, I haven't, because I'm not sure if it's actually going to be a cafe or it's going to be a canteen. I'm not too sure, but it's set up like a cafe, but it's also set up like a caf canteen. I don't know. So basically, there's no vendor in it yet, but it wasn't going to have one anyway. You'll see. Looks really good, though. Looks really good. As you can see, I'm just kind of blocking shit up here. There's so much stuff in the custom of the assets mod for kind of texture and debris, which I can show you. It's really, really good, but we'll do that another video. Now, bar these, pretty much the boarded parts I'm doing a sack, I don't really do much for this. It's mostly decoration, so I do show you a little bit of the, the core furnishings on the inside. Also, I'm using these half shackles. You can see in the bottom there, there's one on the far right. Yeah, I use that one instead, because you'll see what I do in a sec. It looks absolutely bollocks, but it's sad to show you anyway. I basically just do what I'm doing now, but like with those barts on the far left, because that looks better. They're just textured a bit simpler. Yeah, this was what, this is a weird one, because I, because I've, those who remember, I've actually made a Diamond City house before. By the way, this is actually, if you don't know where it is, because you can see the medical one, that this is the, uh, what's it called? Mega City Surgery, I think it's called. So this is the actual, the, the Diamond City house from that, which is why the medical bits and pieces are lying around. That looks so bad. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Why? <laughs> but, yeah, just a quick note there. I take this off in a bit. I leave them on for now, but during decoration, I was like, that looks just fucking atrocious. But yeah, there's not really much to do, but that's what I like about this. It looks really, really good. But yeah, I've made a Diamond City house before, and I didn't want to, like, on the original... The old Diamond City house I did, I boarded it up, and it was a completely enclosed space and all that jazz. But obviously, with these kind of shops in this central courtyard area, they're all open and looking cool. So I thought, right, I'll do that with this one as well. These benches are great, by the way. Just thought I'd point that out there. They're really good. They're really, really, really good. You can't actually put anything on the te wee tables there. But it doesn't really matter. You can, like, I mean, you can, like, if you manually place it. But you can't use, for example... What do we call it? OC decorator to put bits on and bit of furnishings. You can see it's kind of like a a dining area as opposed to necessarily a cafe. I might, I probably will squeal, squeeze a vendor stand. You may notice I'm in USO Integrate. So this is the Unlock Some Objects mod. If you go, you've got loads of different cooking stoves and things. Now, quick now, right? Because I was going to change it, but I thought no, because that's how they look in real life. So I'm going to put a counter. Which, by the way, is not there. It's further back, David. There's a kitchen section, yeah? I'll put a kitchen counter in, but it's higher than the stove. Now, at first I was like, no, that's not right. Then I remembered, actually, that's like how real kitchen counters are. And she was going to sink it in. I was like, no, it actually looks good like that. So, yeah, just thought I'd point that out there. I'll draw attention to it. It's the same colour. See, it, it, that's how real stoves are, yeah? Though it, it wish it was a little bit higher. I could put some rugs under it, but I thought it'd look a little bit noticeable. 
But anyway, nearly, nearly, nearly. And you see the decorator? It looks really good. Prepare yourself. It looks really good. Really good. Ready? Oh, look at that. Yeah. All of those signs are from custom vanilla assets. So if you go, if you get, get custom vanilla assets mod, um, which I showed you before, and then you can unlock all the various signs and you can plop them down. It just looks really cool. I haven't done very much. Also, that bar restaurant thing is actually on the outside, but it for some reason appeared on the inside as well. But I weirdly like it, so I left it on there. It's got the signs there. I cut the decoration quite minimal because of the fact that, again, I don't want to overdo the castle. I'm a little bit annoyed about where the wood is there. I might put a fence post. I noticed that when I was doing the tour. Slocum Joe's sign looks great. You see what I mean, right? It's kind of decoration-wise, and if anything, it's, there's not really much structurally I've done in this. But it just looks really cool, and I've left the boards as is because I just didn't want to kind of. I've got, I've got a, I've got stuff to do with those. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys like that. Look at that. Oh, it looks good, right? Yeah, yeah. Anyway, as always, follow me on Twitter. Have at no response. You guys enjoy your week. Have a good Monday, all that jazz, and I'll talk to you, lovely people, soon. You take care.